In this video, we are going to look at how you can download and install ChemsDraw from online and install your PC or laptop. Then also how you can use the software to draw chemical structures in chemistry. Don't forget to like and subscribe to watching the video so you can receive every update from this channel. So if you want to get ChemDraw on your laptop, I have it already on my laptop. So I'm going to take you through how you can download from online and install them. We are going to open the software on my laptop and use the draw structures as a tutorial. So to download ChemDraw, open the Google Chrome, then search for ChemDraw to be download as seen here. So just type in ChemDraw. So I have it here, so I'll just tap on it. ChemDraw to be download. Then you click on that. And that takes you to Google. And you have several options. Look for the ChemDraw Pro 12.0 download just a free trial. Then open that. When you open, then it should go down. You see the trusted download here. So click on the trusted download, then you download it on your machine that is on your laptop. I have to so I'm not going to download it here. I'm going to show you where it's going to be downloaded or shown on my laptop. So when you click on the trusted download, the size is 75.4 megabytes. It will be downloaded on your PC or your laptop. Then you go ahead to install it on your PC. So I have it on my laptop. So let's see. When you download it on your PC, it will appear here as a download session based on the settings of your PC. So I have it at my download session as this one. That is CDP12. Or 1202. So when you click on that, then you install on your laptop. You follow procedures, then you install it on your laptop. It is going to be part of your operating system. So let's see, I have it already on my system. So you're going to use it to draw structures in chemistry. So when you are done with the installation process, then you come to the start menu, then search for ChemDraw. So we search for ChemDraw. So it comes here as ChemDraw Ultra 12.0. So you click on that. So we're going to open the software or the ChemDraw software. This appears after the installation of your ChemDraw on your laptop. So let's go to the features of the ChemDraw and see how we can use it to draw the chemical structures in the chemistry. So, we have several structures. So, this is the ChemDraw software after opening. And these are the key features of the software. Let's go through the various features of the software and how, how you can use it to draw chemical structures. So, these features here are what you are going to basically use to draw the structures. And here is the working area as the interface where you're going to draw the structures. We have the main tools here who you are going to adjust to or apply to draw structures. We have what you call the select. This two I select a particular structure on the I mean, blank speed. We have this two, which is a structure perspective. We have the line that is a solid line or solid bond, that is just a single bond. We have a double bond. If you click on and hold you have other bonds which can appear you can have the triple bond in there you can even have the quadruple bond you have the short dash double bond then what also this type of double bonds all this one when you click on any of them you can use them so for you to display this you have to click and hold that then you click on the one you want to use then it will appear we have just a dashed bond we have this one that's the highest bond then we have the wedged bond, then we have what all these are bonds, different bonds which can be used to draw structures in the camera. Draw. We can have this is a straight or a chain. You just if you just want to draw a straight chain or a long chain in camera, draw, you are going to use that. We have several icons or several structures here which you can click on any of them and paste it in the working area. We have what we call a circle benzene here, you have the benzene structure here, we have other ones. This A here is the select 
button or the text button. If you click on that, you are going to add a text to your document. You are going to work on that. We have an eraser which is used to erase a particular drawn document. We have the arrow. This comes in different forms. We have a lot of arrows here. We have just this type of arrows. You can have the Vibram arrow. Yeah, you can have the resonance arrow. All these ones are types of arrows which can be used. So if you click on that, the one you want to use, then you move your Ezra to, then you, you hold or it's released like that. So normally we use this. So let me take this one. So these ones are just the various orbital tools which can be applied if you want to draw orbitals or structures in a term drawing area. We have other types or other tools which can be applied based on what you want to use the term draw. So let's see how we can use the term draw to draw chemical structures. So first, let's look at how we can draw a straight chain. If you want, just want to draw a solid bond straight chain, then we just click on the solid bond here. We have two ways of drawing the bond. You can just click on the page and leave it, or you can click and hold and extend it. So based on where you want to extend the chain, you can click and hold and extend the bond to this area. Click and hold and extend to this area. Click and hold and extend to this area in that order. So based on where you want to, you can even replace the bond to match how you want it. So you click and hold, you click and hold, then you extend in that direction. So this one is very rough. If you want to undo, just click come here and you undo. If you want to erase, you can just come and select the erase button, then you erase that particular or the latest action you carried out in your working area. So let's continue. If you have this structure and you want to clean it, this one is very rough. When you click on the select any of them, on select this, can draw automatically. So let's say you want to. So let's start everything again. So let's say you want to draw a straight chain which goes like this. So do it. So straight chain which goes like that. This one like that. This one like that. This one like that. This one like that. When you click on the select, can automatically select the latest action you carry out in your working area. When this one is selected and you come to structure, see your structure here. When you click on that, then you come to clean up structure. You're going to have the structure oriented in a fine form so that you have it for in a fine form. You can equally select that here, yeah, then also clean it up again to attain a particular or a possible orientation that you want your structure to be. If equally, you can also select the long chain or the this icon here, the chain tool here. Select the first one, then you come to the working area. Then you come to the working area. So the selection was bad, so let me click on that. Then you come to the working area. Then you keep extending like that. When you extend, you're going to draw a long chain based on what you want. You just draw a long chain. Then what you just have your long chain. So if you want to adjust this long chain to other molecules, so let's say you want to insert, let's say a ketone, or if you say you want to set a hydroxy group or something, can do automatically let you type the name or the letter of the element that you want to insert. For instance, if I want to insert a ketone here, this carbon to bear up one, I'll just come and select this double bond here and extend this side here of the double bond. Then at the end here, I'll come and select the test. Here, then I'll click at the tip here. Then I will type on my keyboard oxygen so that gives me what a ketone. That gives me a ketone. If I want to insert, let's say, an alcohol here, I need just a single bond or straight bond. I will just extend here, then come to the tip here, select test, then type on tip here OH. So OH that is alcohol. The same thing if you want to just insert any other element. Let's say I want have here, let's say I want to insert oxygen here in the middle to form an eater. I will just select what oxygen here in that, then I go. I have my eater. Let's say I want to have my, I want to insert a halogen. A halogen, I'll come and select a single bond here, then I will extend it to this direction. Then I will just type, select the E and come and type the chlorine with the CL chlorine. And I have inserted my my halogen. So this is how you can um, type text in what, or let's say insect different substituent on a straight chain in the camera. 
let's say you want to so let's clean it up so if i want to clean this up i'll just come and select the erase then erase all the various components or everything i drew in my working area yeah so i can erase everything in my working area so if you want to install let's see a benzene ring you just come and so let's, say, let's come to the side of the cyclohexane order so i have a cyclohexane if i click on that then come and leave it i'll just here so we just click and select and come and click the working area you will leave the cyclohexane in there if you want to convert this to a double bond or say convert this structure to let's say a benzene ring instead of you selecting this one and coming to paste you can equally draw it from the cyclohexane by selecting the solid line um, two. Then you click on the edges. You click here, you insert one bond. When I click here, I will insert another bond. Like I will another bond. So here I have just a cycle exam, which is just like the benzene ring. I can equally extend the metal groups here. So if I want to insert the metal group for multiple toluene, I will just click at the end here and extend it. If I want to insert the end here, let's say I want to add the CA3 to the end, I will just come and click on the A. Then let's say I'll select this end, then I type here C8 C8. So C8. So ChemDraw has, should I say has an automatic brain or say chemical brain that automatically selects or keep put the value here, the number at a subscript. At a subscript. If we just want to type this same thing on any blank, let's say page, without inserting it at the end of the chain. It will just appear like C A three normal C A three C A three. But if you want to insert the C A three at the end of the chain, the three will come as a subscript automatically. So, if you want to change C A three like how it is done in Microsoft Word, you will just have to select the subscript icon or the side the subscript button on the right one. Then you type word three, and that will make it appear. So. You can equally extend if you want to draw, let's say, a chemical reaction, which is a chemical reaction. You can just select any of the arrows here. So maybe I want to select this arrow. I will just come here and extend this arrow. So you can extend this. So if you leave it, you select when you click on that, you select it. You can extend it to any height or let's say any um, length that you want. You can even adjust it. Can move it up and down based on what you want to do it so you can extend it like this let's say you want to show a chemical reaction if you want to show let's say benzene reaction this one reaction with let's say um, um let's say potassium permanganate so let's put the potassium permanganate on the top here so i'm going to have potassium so km then we have n then you have oxygen go also the four will come as a surface so a surface can came go for this reaction then maybe down here or let's say i think if we have heat if we have heat heat something you're going to change this compound to let's say carboxylic acid so let's see how it's going to be you will have your new benzene you insert your benzene ring here then let's see how we can change this side to a carboxylic acid so let's extend the chain with an acyl group so you're going to have first this one and that one so this is an acyl group that we are going to change to a carboxylic acid so first insert here the ketone with the double bond that we did for the original so we are going to insert the ketone put here the oxygen by selecting the text to so we put the oxygen then this and i'm going to put the oh oh so that we change it for a carboxylic acid a carboxylic acid so interesting like this so chem draw is very simple then let's go let's say if you want to convert a particular name to a structure so we can also convert a particular name to a structure in chem draw so let's first um erase everything we have on our in area so let's erase everything okay so let's erase everything then we can so that is it so let's say you want to have a name converted to a structure so we can have the structure you come to structure then you come to 
convert name to structure convert name to structure so when you want to convert a name to structure then you click on um, the structure then you come to convert name to structure then you just say i want to convert the name of uh, um, let's see let's see let's see pentane so i'm going to the structure then if i type the name here i'll click on ok then i will have my pentane given let's say i want to write convert let's see let me draw a different structure too and see how we can also go by it so let's see from that that from that now whatever let's reverse it so you can also convert structure to name so when you just draw a structure and you convert it to name you select that then you come to convert structure to name that also give me the same thing so if you want to convert your structure let's see let me draw different structures so let's say I have a cycle of exam and put there and let's see let me attach some some substrate Let's say I want to attach, let's say, an oxygen or a hydrogen group or something. So let's draw something. Let's draw a structure like this. Let's put there an oxygen. So let's see, I have OH. So we can cycle it and all. If I want to convert this structure to name, I will first select this structure by clicking on this. And this one, whenever you click on this, it could select automatically your latest action on the web page. So when you come to structure, you are going to see convert structure to name. So we can convert a name to a structure, or you can equally convert a structure to name. So if I click on convert structure to name, it's give me the name of the newly drawn structure on the um, the web page. So that is how basically you use the um, and the camera to draw basic structures in um, um, the camera draw. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to watching. So you can receive every bit of updates from this channel. Thank you.